Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over my tech career pro progression and how I went from $9 an hour to $22 an hour to $35 an hour. And I'm going to show you how I did that and how I guess made that salary. All right. So I'm going to take a step back. We're going to go all the way back in time. I'm going to tell you a story real quick. I'm going to teach you guys because then if you guys go to the job market, right, you don't have to negotiate your salary, right? So um, uh, I went to my first job. So I worked for the DOE Department of Education. I worked as a field technician. And that was my first job for um, IT. And I was only making $9 an hour. So like nine, what are they, right? $9. So I was like, man, it's like, there's no money in IT, right? When I first started, I was like, what, what the hell is this? It's like no money at all in IT. I, mean, I must have marketed myself wrong. So that's my first gem of advice for anyone here that's watching today. My first gem is learn how to market yourself. Because if you don't know how to market yourself, you're going to downplay yourself. And then you're going to ask for a lower salary. And basically, you're messing yourself up. So learn how to market yourself. That's number one. So do, do, do that. Make sure you know how to market yourself. All right? That's little. That's uh, lesson number one. So I'm over here. I'm just doing my job, and this is my first job. And I, 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 I literally like, I literally killed myself, bust my ass. I'm not even joking. Like literally, I, I was a field technician, so I was moving PCs, moving printers, helping, helping with a migration of 300 laptops, 300 PCs, moving things here and there, different floors. Some of these, some of these schools didn't even have elevators, and I'm over here just, just traveling all over uh, New York. Um, going to Brooklyn, going to Queens, going to New High Park. If you guys don't know, that's like a two-hour ride on a bus. Cause I didn't drive at the, I didn't drive back then, so it was really really painful. And uh, yeah, I I really I really did I really worked hard for that for that role, and I just I worked hard because it's my first job, right? And, and I didn't know better, right? Because I didn't know if I was gonna get rewarded at the end of the year or not. So then. The year has the year passed, and um, they go for, they go for salary increase in uh, negotiation, right? I only get twenty five cents salary increase. That's crazy, right? Yeah. So I only got twenty five cents, and I'm like, man, this is not good for me. It's not good for IT. Like, is this really what IT pays? I was extremely confused, right? And then I, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start applying for a new job because at that point, I'm like, it doesn't make any sense for me to stay here if. I'm only gonna make twenty five cents, which doesn't make any sense. So I looked, I looked at the job market, and that's where I learned about MSP companies. So I looked at MSP companies, and I found an MSP company, and they're asking for skills that I didn't know at the time. So I'm like, hmm, what are they asking for? They're asking for Active Directory, oh, and I, and everywhere I went online, Active Directory, Active Directory, Active Directory, Active Directory, and. Uh, I didn't I didn't do that in this job. So I'm like, I don't know what that is. Active director. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me do something else. Let me learn the skills. This will be number two for you guys. Let me learn the skills that I need to know right now for the job that I want or the jobs that they're asking for these skills. So if you see a skill on demand right now, you better learn that skill because all these jobs are asking for it. You might as well learn it, right? So I did my research. I went online. I checked. I went to uh, the OG of IT, uh, if you guys don't know, Eli, the computer guy. I went to his videos. I looked at some of his server videos, and I'm like, let me see if I can mirror this, if I could try to copy this, right? Because I never, I, I'm not familiar with this. So that's where I started learning about Active Directory, learning learn about services, I learned about LDAP, I learned about uh, authentication, I learned about certain folders are located to certain things, I learned about shared drive permissioning, all that good stuff. So I went to his, his videos, I took inspiration from that and I learned that. And I added those skills to my resume. So then when they went, when I went to the job interview, this is how they hired me, by the way. It was very awkward. I wish I, I wish I had a I wish I had the recording of it, but you had to record yourself and then you send that video or the recording to the company as to why they should hire you. So you record yourself and you send it, send it to them, right? It's kind of kind of awkward, but anyway, so I sent that to them. Um, they looked at my video. They, oh, wow, I really like this video. They really like me. So they called me for an interview, right? And then um, it was very easy. The interview wasn't that bad. So I went and did the interview, and they're like, okay, so if you can't figure out a problem, how how would you resolve it? And I said, I would just Google the answer. I like that answer. I kept a good answer. I would do some research, go online, Google the answer. That's what I would do because sometimes you never know everything, obviously. So I'll Google the answer. They really like that answer. 
Then the last thing they asked me was, um, what do you know about Active Directory? And then I started talking about my home lab. This is where um, I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't know I didn't know home labs are important or project work is important. This is where I learned that home labs or project work is important. I mentioned it to them. I mentioned I set up a server 20, 20, 2012 R2 at the time, right? I mentioned I installed Active Directory services. I created user accounts. I, I got familiarized with unlocking accounts, resetting accounts. All that good stuff, and they really like that. They really like they really like the fact that I took the time to learn that skills because those are skills they were asking for in the job description. That okay, we're gonna give you a chance, and they hired me, and I went from nine dollars to twenty two dollars an hour, just just like that, right? Um, I uh, I stood there for about a year. Uh, I was making around, I'd say about sixty k because they had, they have a lot of overtime, so I was making about sixty sixty five k roughly, and they had bonuses too. So it doesn't include bonuses. It could be more than that. So um, bonuses are come from $1,000 $1, a month. This is $1,000 a month we're talking about um, for someone that closes the most tickets. So in that company, I was closing about uh, 1,000 tickets to 1,200 tickets a month. So whoever closes the most tickets get $1,000 of, of money that you can spend it on, on Amazon or just use it and put it in your pocket, whatever you want to do with it. So they give you money on that. On, they give you a certain amount of money. It could be a thousand dollars. Sometimes it's a little more. Sometimes it's, it's a little less, depending on what place you come in. From first place to second place, third place. Me, I was always first place. So I wanted to get the thousand dollars. That's like it's like a it's like a like a game. Like you're competing with other people in the MSP to make sure you close the most tickets. So I uh, I was always number one, and uh, I was closing all the tickets. And I left that company because. I wanted to get promoted, but I didn't get promoted at all. So I'm like, man, I want to make more money. I want to get want to get promoted. And they didn't have any of those things for me at that time. So um, I uh, started looking at the job market again after a year. Uh, I started looking at the job market. And I was looking online, looking online. And I see that a lot of these hedge funds, they like someone that has an MSP background where basically you're working with multiple vendors. I was working with nonprofit, profit, asset management, um, financial services, a bunch, bunch of different things, right? They really like someone that has a background like that. So then I apply for this job. It's like the top five, um, top five uh, hedge funds in the world, the top five, top ten around that area. Um, which I could I could say it in this video. They're not, they're not gonna dox me. Um, Blackstone Group. So if you guys don't know anything about Blackstone Group, I worked there, and that's where I made my. This that's like this is three years now. That's going into my third year. My third year will be making a year at Blackstone. Um, that was when I was making $35 an hour. And that's where I I increased my salary again. So I went from $9 to 25 to 35. And I, how do you do that, Kevin? So I I get calls a lot. I got a lot of calls from a lot of different job recruiters because of my skills, because I worked at an MSP company, right? And I'm very direct with people, right? Um, this is what I this is what I want, this is why I want it, and this is what you should be paying me. I'm very direct. Either pay me this or don't call me back. Simple as that. So if I'm making $22 an hour here, and I know there's like there's a big gap, right, from 35, I don't want 25, I don't want 26, I don't want 27. I want $30 or more. That's just how I was. Because of all the things I did in my job, I did a lot of crap. I've been through a lot of crap. I've been through a lot of nonsense, right? From busting my ass so much that I want this amount of money because I know I'm worth that amount of money. So the third gem here is saying, um, know what you're worth if you could back it up. So if you're worth something, know your know your worth and, and ask for that amount of money. That's the, the third gem right there. Um, and then the last one, number four for you guys, is um sometimes in life. A uh, company will not take care of you. This is the reality of, of 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 jobs. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care if you come. They don't care about what happens to you. You get hit by a car tomorrow, right? Uh, you could get hit by a car tomorrow, or something could happen to you tomorrow. They'll put your job online again in the posting. So, I'm just I'm just saying. So, some of these companies will not take care of you. They don't care about you. So, if you if you have to leave, you have to leave. Don't be afraid to jump ship. If you need a new job or if you want more money. No one's lo no one's loyal to you. No one's gonna be loyal to you. That's just how it is in reality. Some companies, they are loyal. Some will take care of you, but most companies, no, they won't take care of you. They'll just be like, okay, bye, bye. Man, I left my other job, bye. So that's just the reality of IT. Knowing your value, knowing to 
knowing how to play chess, like when you play chess, just making the right moves, not stupid moves, the right moves, right? And then move over to the next job and make more money. And if they take care of you, then you could stay there. If they don't take care of you, then it's time for you to go. So the only way to level up is by moving to another department or another company. Just do it that way. And I'm not telling you to quit your job. I'm telling you to um, plan your stuff accordingly and wisely. Because some companies are really good out there. Like There are some really good small companies I have seen that they take care of their employees. They, they, they give them bonuses. They give them salary increase. They have some sort of incentives. I can take you out to eat. You get free lunch every day. You know, it's just, there's a lot of things out there. So figure out what works for you and what makes you happy. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And that's how I went from $9 to 22 to $35 an hour. Figure this out. Um, if you have to rewatch this video a couple of times, it's fine. But I'm just giving you the reality of IT. And I'm giving you gems right here. With that being said, I hope you guys have a good day. All right. Take care. Peace.